In the interest of getting everybody out here real quick, uh, I'd like to call the uh, board commissioners uh, to order. And uh, I think we'll go ahead and do it like a regular board meeting where we're going uh, to have prayer and it's Pledge of Allegiance. And I'd like to uh, remember Rickard Frazier, if you would, please, sir. Let us bow. Precious and all wise and everlasting God, our Father, we thank you again for opportunity to come and discuss and declare business of our community. We pray, God, that whatever we say and do, we ask God that it be blessed by your name. We pray for each commissioner, and we pray in the absence of uh, Commissioner uh, Connect. And we pray, God, that you bless those persons who have come today to talk about issues and concerns that they have for the community. We thank you, God, and we count a blessing. In Christ's name, amen. 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 Okay. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for being here with this rather hastily called uh, business meeting. Um, our first order of business will be to consider a memorandum of understanding with Sanford Affordable Housing Development Corporation to release and cancel the county's deed of trust for the Wilrick Hotel Apartments, LLC. And uh, there is one error on your uh, information sheet uh, down at Budget Impact. Uh, 100,000 had already been written off I don't know, several years ago. Yeah, and so we'll only be writing off 187,900. And uh, we will not be citing this until a check has been delivered. But um, part of it is to authorize um, myself to sign for John and Lisa, to, or no, Carrie to sign for Gaynell if we need to do that uh, quickly. Yes, you'll, be, you'll be going ahead and signing the memorandum of understanding. Okay. The um, satisfaction. Thank you. I couldn't think of the word. Will be signed once the checks are received. Right. Okay. But you will be authorizing yourself to sign the memorandum of understanding okay. and carry to sign um, to attest the memorandum of understanding. Okay. So I'll need a motion. Mr. Chair, I move, yes. I move we approve the attached memorandum of understanding and execute the satisfaction of security instrument for the city county deed of trust and satisfaction of security instrument for the county deed of trust. Okay, and I'll need uh, to get authority to allow me to sign for John and for Carrie to attest said memorandum on behalf of the county clerk. I'll accept that part of the motion. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Um, in case KNL's back before the check is, well, she'll go ahead and sign it, but otherwise, Carrie can do it if the, if the check's not. Uh, and before we vote, I would certainly like to first thank this board for the support uh, that I anticipate we'll have in getting this off our plates, yeah. and certainly the city for moving forward as they did. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate it to you all. You know, it's just a spur of the moment notice, all of you being here. Andre, of course, couldn't move his schedule around from uh, the folks that he has, his, his clients. So. All right, uh, you've heard the motion. Any discussion, questions? Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? No. Okay, so one opposed, all the rest ayes. Uh, okay. The only other item of business that we have is uh, the almonds and their fire uh, <laughs> works. Since the uh, rain rain, you know, made it so soggy you can't get in there. I believe you have a alternate date. We've already proved the fireworks, so an alternate date of Sunday, and then if, if that doesn't happen, then an alternate date of the 13th. Correct. By the way, I was just watching the weather before I came in, and there looked like a tropical <laughs> storm forming off of uh, Florida down there. So. I uh, can't so, catch a break. Okay. Well, we'll pray that you, you get your thing. So, I don't think we have to do anything tonight because we've already approved you doing the fireworks, but just to let people know that um, you have an alternate date. So, 
Okay, yes. Will you have something on the local radio station or anything on it? Um, when I was on the radio this morning. Margaret Murchison had me on to speak, so I did that. Um, I put ads in the paper. They'll run today, and they even said because I said I put it on Facebook as well, okay. and I couldn't believe that it showed like on, it shows you how many views you have. We had eighteen thousand views wow. just off That's of that amazing. yesterday, and I put on there you know commissioner's approval. You know we've got to wait on that <laughs> as well as talk to Lori at the paper, and she said, well if I need to make any changes, I have till five o'clock today, okay. so it'll be in tomorrow's paper. Um, we'll probably run it Thursday, and then Tim Copus, who is also um, Kind of heading up the CUOC's mm -hmm. benefit for the Charlie Daniels, that's going to be a huge, great thing. Um, they're going to run an ad in Sunday's paper. I'm sorry, they're going to run an ad in Sunday's paper and say that you know their cutoff date for actually selling the $15 tickets uh, was going to be July 4th. However, I offer, I said, well, if you'll run that, you know, that we're you know changing our date and everything on Sunday or for Sunday that um, they can have a vendor booth out there at no charge. They're actually going to be able to sell tickets for the $15. So the only other place that you'll be able to get the discounted tickets for the event in August will be at the fireworks show. <coughs> so kind of partnering up there and that kind of thing. So okay. thank you. Yes. Thank you. And I want to thank Jim, especially yesterday. We had a flurry of phone calls and had a huge meeting over at CCCC and um, Hal Hayward and uh, uh, Charles Taylor and uh, Dr. Marchant and the city and county, everybody was willing to work with us to try to get everything moved to a, you know, an alternate location. That wasn't going to work because of the weather conditions with the emergency services um, area because they, they used a lot of that for the grass parking when they did their 50th anniversary. And they, you know, they were they were very, very accommodating. We had, I think, 20 people probably at that meeting mm -hmm. yesterday within not even a two-hour time frame of planning. So that was just wonderful. And I thank you guys for helping. And very fortunate that you guys were having a meeting today. So when Jim told me that, I was like, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> so thank you for working us in and allowing us to be able to do this. Because I know a lot of folks look forward to it. What's your Facebook page? It's Ammons Farm annual fireworks okay. All right. yeah it's like a, this long and yes yeah, so it's on there I'm getting ready to post some more stuff I posted a little bit today but I could I just you know you see that it reaches a lot of people but then on the inside when it said 18,000 I was like there's no way but it was shared over almost 200 times by all the different users and a lot of likes on there so it's something I think that everybody looks forward to so yes please pray that it's going to dry out and <laughs> oh yeah so we appreciate it. We got a lot of good information too. Like next year, we're going to have on there an alternate rain date, uh, alternate locations. Because CCCC, they were like, please feel free, you know, to contact us beforehand. We'll be glad to work with you. So I really appreciate it. My husband appreciates it. So thank you guys very much. Thank you. Okay, thank you for coming. Absolutely. Unless council advises otherwise, I'd like to move that we approve the change in venue and dates in the event that it has to be done in, on the what the 13th I think mm -hmm. yeah okay, and that's appropriate okay any, any discussion all in favor say aye I think yeah. you just need to do a consensus rather than a full vote since okay. this is not you cannot add anything to the I table. think we're all in consensus here yeah. Yeah. I will report to you that we have gotten an updated insurance policy list in the two new dates and we've also gotten a memo from our fire marshal stating that they will still be on site and are aware of the changes and will be there to And I have everything. a copy of that if you need that here. Uh, we I we have will be in one file. So okay. To go with the I have them. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I have them okay. in the office. So good. Perfect. Okay, I, I don't think there's any other order of business, so I don't need a motion to adjourn. Motion to Okay, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Say no. One time. I'm talking to that man. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>